this video, well, before I say that, remember that these videos are going through definitions and they're optional, so you can skip it if you want. So back to the topic, technological efficiency. Now, technological efficiency occurs when a firm produces a given level of output by using the least amount of inputs. Now, there may be uh, different combinations of inputs to use for producing a given good, but only one of them is technologically inefficient. And when we say technologically inefficient, it means that they're the worst combo of all the combos. Now, if it is impossible to make a given good by decreasing any one of the inputs with all the other inputs being constant, then we are technologically efficient in production. So with all the other inputs constant, if we cannot decrease one input any further, then we are at a technologically efficient production uh, method. So here's an example of a table that uh, shows the labor and capital needed to make 10 cars a day using uh, four methods A, B, C, and D. So the methods A, method A is robot production, method B is assembly line, method B is making, making a car by hand, and D is uh, bench production. So this, these are four different methods of which we can, uh, if, of which we can make a car. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the amount of labor needed and the amount of capital that we need. You can see that if we use robots, then of course we don't need that much labor. We only need a robot. So, but then that robot will probably cost a lot of money. But then if we use hands-on production, then that will probably use use a lot of labor, and but the capital will probably be uh, be very small because uh, anybody can make a car really well if they know how if or if they are given the right instructions let's just say that now economic efficiency this occurs when a firm produces a given level of output at the least cost now the economically efficient method it really depends on the relative cost of capital and labor and the difference between technological and economic efficiency. Now, this is actually the really important part. Well, for technological efficiency, it pretty much implies the quantity of inputs used in production for a given level of output. And economic efficiency implies the cost of the inputs used. So when we're talking about economics or economic efficiency, we're talking about the cost. Technological efficiency, we're talking about the quantity of inputs. And uh, here are two really important points that you should uh, know. An economically efficient production process is also technologically efficient. And a technologically efficient process may not be an ec economically efficient. So yeah, just spend a little time and try to wrap your head around those two concepts. So a good example of this would probably be when we are uh, using the latest technology to make burgers. I don't know why I'm always going back to these burgers examples. I don't really like burgers, but I always go back to these burger examples. But anyways, let's say that the McDonald's is using the latest technology to make burgers. Well, if they're using the latest technology, then they are also economically efficient because, well, because they are making the money and they are using the latest technology, which means they're te they are technologically efficient. But let's say that they are using uh, an outdated machine. Well, this outdated machine, it's still technologically efficient. It's still producing the given level of output, but then it, could, it doesn't have to be economically efficient because there could be a better technology out there on the market that could uh, that can help McDonald's make more money. And that's the kind of idea that I want you guys to wrap your heads around. Now, so the econo economically efficient method depends on the relative cost of resources. So let's just go through a brief example and then that's, then we'll call it a day. So here you see I have three graphs and three cases. So let's say that, uh, remember this is the same example using the cars example that I had before. Uh, when the wage is $75 a day and the capital rental rent or the capital rental rent doesn't make any sense at all. 
Just give me a second. Let me figure out why this is saying that. So yeah, this is not capital rental rent. And this is actually capital rental rate. And my race just busted. So let's just do some on screen fixes. God damn it. Capital rental. Jesus Christ. Capital rental rate. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, let's get back on this. So when the wage rate is $75 a day and the rental rate is $250 a day, then method B is the economically efficient method. So let's just do these calculations. So when we have a wage of $75 per day and a capital rental rate of $250 a day, and we have these given uh, labor and capital inputs, then the labor cost at $75 a day is just 75 and the capital cost <coughs> is 250 grand 250 grand am I lagging oh yes I am lagging this is a horrible thing this is a horrible video uh, so it's 250k now these numbers are pretty easy to get because what I did is I took 75 and I times it by the labor which is 1 and I took capital which is 250 times it by uh, the capital rental rate times it by the capital which gave me 250k and the total cost for that is just 250k and 75 and for method B, it's 75 times 10, which is 750, plus 250 times 10, which is 2,500. And this is equal to 3,250. Now, 75 times 1,000, this is 75K, plus 250 times 1. So, 75K. Man, there comes a lag again. I don't know why my program is lagging so much. Oh. Sorry about this. <coughs> so, 75k and 250. 75 times 100 equals 7500. And 20, 250 times 10 equals 2500. And this will give us, uh, this will give us 10 grand, I believe. Yeah, you will give us 10 grand. So you can see that the lowest cost was 3,250. 3, so this is the most economically efficient method because it provides us with the lowest cost. And here <coughs> we have $150 a day and a dollar a day and a dollar a day and a thousand per day now just pause the video here and try to figure this out by yourself it's really simple math because I just went through with I just went through this with you so yeah I'll go over the answers in the next video and we'll call it a day right now see you guys next time please rate comment and subscribe